<laughs> but I'm not suggesting going off your patches. <laughs> the reason why is because there's emotions that are triggering that response in your body at a certain age. And the emotions relate to femininity, sexual shame, and guilt. And what you'll find once you work your way through a lot of these emotions, and also emotions of feeling like you are dependent upon physical solutions for spiritual problems. And all of these emotions create a situation, a circumstance within your body that your body desires dependence on substances, whatever those substances are. And if I can just give you an experience of Natalie's during this process, Natalie had a hysterectomy uh, through her life, and so she was on patches, mm -hmm. on, on hormone patches for most of her life. And, and we, we started talking about, uh, during the travel, she spent nearly six months with me traveling, and during the travels I started talking to her about the dependency upon these patches. And she'd get quite upset with me about <laughs> it, uh, saying that I'm, I'm a man and I wouldn't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> And, uh, and what I kept on reminding her is that every single thing that's happening within our body is emotional. Every single thing. So the pain you have in childbirth as a woman is emotional. The pain that you have with regard to once a month periods is related to emotions. And the pain that you have and the physical responses you have during menopause are also related to emotions. And they're related very much to the emotions and the generational emotions that most women have because women generally through history have been treated very badly. And women generally through history have been treated badly in a number of different areas. Not just in sort of physically being treated badly or being put down emotionally, but also being treated badly sexually. And this multi-generational abuse that's gone on towards women has carried an emotional burden right down to our day to day. And actually is in within each of you, each of you ladies, it's within, as well as each of the men from a male point of view as well. There is also this same constant generational thing within the men as well. When you come to deal with those emotions, you will find that you'll get to a point where you feel that you do not need this kind of medication anymore. And you will actually go off it and you will feel stable. You won't go up and down emotionally. A lot of times, people get to menopause and they start feeling these up and down emotional swings, right? Very similar in many cases, if you think about it, to the emotional swings that you may have experienced when you were pregnant. Mm -hmm. right? And the reason why these emotional swings occur during those times is because they are reminding you of your own femininity. That there are issues within that you are not wanting to deal with emotionally on those subjects. And the key is to go into those subjects and deal with them emotionally. Now, when Natalie went through a lot of these experiences, uh, she actually, and released these emotions, what happened was that her body started changing and she started not needing what she thought she need, needed before. And now she's actually gone off of her hormone treatment altogether. Now, normally, her son, Ben, uh, Gabby's brother, commented that normally after a few days she would be a raging, what did he call her, a raging, a raging yeah. bitch I think he called her, <laughs> something pretty good. He said normally after two days after she's gone off this medication she would normally just be in this uncontrollable rage and he's just totally blown away that three weeks or four weeks after uh, when he was with her she was still like a loving, the lo a loving mother that he'd never really <laughs> met before. <laughs> right? and, and so this is what is ahead of you, and this applies to all medication, um, whatever, whatever it is. You'll find that there'll be a time in the future where you know you won't need it. And, and it will be because you've actually dealt with the emotions that create the need for it. Is there something parallel for the men that you chat about too? <laughs> well, you think about a lot of men issues uh, that men generally have. What, what are they related to generally? Women. <laughs> <laughs> well, 
What emotion is Michael? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Afraid about what she thinks. <laughs> no, no, go with him. Like, you look at the, the stuff that's within men generally, it's like, you look at most men, most men have some weight around the middle. Yeah. Do they not? By the time they age, right? Most men have some weight around the middle. By the time they get to, you know, in their 40s, most men are also experiencing sometimes some sexual issues, right? By the time they get into late, maybe 50s or 60s, often prostrate starts to occur. These are all related to sexual issues that are unresolved. Right? They're also all related to the treatment of women, actually, and how men generationally have treated women, not how you yourself specifically have treated them, but how there's this constant emotional damage that's been reflected down through the generations. So there are just as many problems for men as there are for women related to the masculinity and femininity issues. The issues that women face are more to do with how badly they've been treated. The issues that men face are more to do with how badly they've treated women. And so they are sort of like two ends of the, of the same spectrum of different emotions that we've been worked through.